Hello everyone and welcome back to another Hobbit and Unexpected Journey uh, action figure review and today we're taking a look at one of the coolest sets to come out so far that is the Beast Pack of Fimble, the Hunter and Wag. This set is just absolutely amazing. Um, I knew I was going to love this as soon as I saw the picture. Um, what an amazing set. I absolutely love it. Let's take a look at the packaging first, shall we? So I'll just move the figure aside. And here is the packaging for Fimble and the Wag. Now as you can see, it's a massive packaging. I've got here my Bilbo Baggins packaging, the single card one to compare it to. Oops, let's bring the camera back a bit. As you can see, it's just massive. Massive packaging, um, and it's basically got the same deco and design, just, yeah, it's just a pretty big packaging. You got the logo, Hobbit and Unexpected Journey. You get the figures packaged, you get Fimble, his accessories up the top here, and the WAG. And again, it's in the different languages. Fimble, the Hunter, and WAG. You get a picture of a uh, movie shot of Fimble. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. The side of the packaging, it's a pretty big uh, plastic bubble there, which, you know, <laughs> it's pretty massive. On the back, you get a prototype look at the figure. The prototype figures, um, which is pretty neat. Um, the WAG is a lot darker coloured than its actual release. Um, Fimble pretty much looks the same, um, but the WAG is... Dark, more darkly colored and he has whoa, whoa, out of focus there and he has a he has pupils in the eyes on the actual figure the eyes are just like a gold color but pretty cool um there's his bio which will be pretty interesting to read if you want to pause and read because we do not know too much about the character there you go and pretty cool we get a description of the movie up here the logo uh, Fimble, the Hunter and Wag. Pretty cool. So, um, and down here it just says, Fimble, Fimble rides his Wag into battle. And then that's repeated in different languages. So pretty cool, um, pretty cool. I love the packaging in this one. Um, yeah, what a fantastic figure. Now, let's review the toy itself, shall we? So like I was saying before, this figure is pretty much my favorite figure to come out so far. This is just an absolutely beautiful set. I really love the Wag and Fimble is he's a pretty cool looking orc as well. And um, we'll just get, get a look at some of the detail. Pretty nice uh, head on Fimble there. Um, his skin texture on Fimble is actually very detailed as well. You can see like little uh, freckle blotches and very orcish skin. His clothing is all weathered and cool looking it's pretty cool and the wag itself is just beautiful we'll take a look at the wag closer in a sec Oop. yeah so Fimble is amazing I just I uh, Fimble sits on the wag pretty easily as well um, you just you know just play around with it a bit and he'll stay on there pretty sturdily he is loose on there I mean he doesn't peg in or anything it's just you know you just sit him there but if you get the legs positioned right, he sits on there very nicely. So you can also have him not mounted on the wag. Um, he's a pretty cool figure. Um, his weapons are like mostly this wood material. So there's not really any metal on the weapons, but pretty cool. Um, yeah, so his clothing. Um, he hasn't got any armor besides the armor on his shins. That's the only armor he has on him. But he's a very cool figure. Um, this plastic here is a very soft, very soft rubber plastic. So that doesn't hinder him from sitting on the wag at all. Um, so on the back he's got this very nice weathered cape. As you can see, look at all the detail there. Very nicely weathered. Um, very pliable plastic. And it is on there by a peg, so you can peg it in so it doesn't get loose. If you take it off, the figure's very bland. Um, a very nice head sculpt. He kind of looks like uh, Voldemort from Harry Potter. <laughs> um, but very cool. Very cool figure. Very nice. Alright, so we'll just sit Fimble over here. 
Whoops. Stay. Oh, we'll take a look at this articulation. So he's got a ball-jointed head, which can go all the way around. Um, not, it can't really go up and down. He can, like, wiggle. But, uh, yep. Yeah. His arms go out, in, up, down, bend at the elbow, rotate at the elbow, uh, swivel at the wrist. Um, legs go out. They can also go up if you just bend the legs like that. They can go down as well. Uh, ball jointed, ball jointed knees. So you know you can get all that articulation and no ankles. Uh, he, I think he has a waist swivel. Yep, he has a waist swivel. So pretty neat articulation on Fimble. Just sit him back there. All right, so the Wog. Uh, one of the coolest things from this set. Uh, one of the coolest creatures. <laughs> um, he's now the Wog is beautifully detailed with this hair sculpted with this well, hair with this fur sculpt all over him. Uh, he's got these very nice wounds on him. Um, they're not sculpted wounds. They're just uh, red painted on there. But you can see they look pretty gruesome and pretty cool. He's got one on his head there. Yep, uh, and as I was saying before, there's no pupil in the eyes, it's just this gold eye. Um, his uh, his mouth has got this really dirty paint job, which makes it look like, oops, which makes it look all uh, gross and grotesque and, you know, rotten teeth and all that. It looks pretty cool. It looks really awesome. His mouth can open and close. And, yeah, this thing's just covered with articulation as well, which really surprised me. Um, but yeah, just fantastic. Um, the paint apps, you can see that on the top, the first is really dark brown, then it gets to light brown. And then at the bottom, you got this sort of maroonish color, which is pretty cool. It looks like wet fur at the bottom, which is really nice. And yeah, the even the little claws and claws on the end of the paws is painted, just beautiful. Very nice figure. Absolutely love this one. Um, so his articulation, he's got a ball jointed head, so he can go up, down, side to side. As I said before, his jaw can open and close. Uh, his neck can go um, down and up. It's a little stiff, but he can do that. Uh, his uh, mid torso can also, it's also on a joint, so he can go all the way around and you can go up and down a bit. Is now this is pretty much the same articulation for all four legs. It can go forward and back, bend at like um, elbow joint, I guess, and the paw. So pretty cool. It can also go in and out as well. You know, in and out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, his tail as well is articulated, so it can go up, down, rotate. You know. Pretty cool. The Wag is absolutely amazing, and Fimble as well is really amazing. So let's do a little size comparison, shall we? All right. So here's Fimble and the Wag next to three other figures from the line. We got um, the dwarf Foreign Oaken Shield, the Hobbit Bilbo Baggins, and an orc um, Bolg. Pretty cool. Um, all amazing figures. Bolg is the tallest of the three inch figures besides the Goblin King, so that's why he's gigantic. <laughs> um, a very nice scaled, I absolutely love it. The Wog is huge, which is great. Um, a very nice scale, I absolutely love it. As I said, Wog and Fimble, my favourite set to come out so far. Absolutely amazing. Detail on it is perfect. Paint apps, amazing. Um, Nothing wrong with the figure at all. It's just a brilliantly made figure and one of the best from the line so far. Alright, so that's all from me. Uh, until my next review, suggest a figure if you want and I'll review that one up. But uh, yeah, that's Fimbo Nawag. Catch you guys later.